In this video, we are going to rewrite quadratic expressions in equivalent forms, and we're going to use this idea of a generic rectangle as a model to be able to do that. So here is an example of our generic rectangle right here. It, in, we're thinking about the area of this rectangle. So right now, the rectangle is broken into four regions, and we're looking at the overall area. And so we want to express that area as a product of two things and as a sum of some things. So that's our goal. And if we did that, we would have equivalent expressions because they both represent the area. So if I want to think about the sum, the area as a sum, I'm just going to take these four subregions and add them up. So I would have x squared minus 6x minus x and plus 6. I just combine them all by addition. And combining like terms, I have an x squared. There's no other squared terms. But the minus 6x and the minus 1x give me a minus 7x. And then I have a plus 6. So I would have x squared minus 7x and plus 6. That is the area of this rectangle all four regions added up. As a product, I'm thinking length times width. So if I could figure out the outer dimensions of this rectangle, I would have length times width and I would have a, the area written as a product. So the outer dimensions, I know x squared must be x times x. And then to get this minus 6x, I would take x times something to get minus 6x, so it must be minus 6. And then this last dimension here, x times something is minus x, or minus 1x, so this must be minus 1. So now I have the dimensions of this rectangle, length times width. I have x minus 6 times x minus 1. x minus 6 times x minus 1. That writes the area as a product. And I know these are all equivalent because they both represent the area.